Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day 10 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. I have a 10 already picked out and I've already picked my card today because this one has a butterfly on it and I want to make sure I use my butterfly because I'm only doing 10 butterfly cards and then I will be doing 10 flower cards and then I'll be doing 10 cards with houses. At least that's my plan at the moment. And actually I have this one and one more butterfly to do because my extra, there are 31 days and my, my extra day I actually did on the 5th with my, I saw the figure 5 in gold, which is still one of my favorite cards. So I have this number 10. I don't really like it. I found a little ticket. I like the little ticket down there. The uh, When I first was making my bases, I this particular jelly print, again, is one of the very first ones that I ever did. But it uh, it was narrow. It, it I didn't I didn't get a full plate on it. I ended up with a narrow plate. So I put the gingham washi down along the side just to kind of cover up the white of the postcard. It is still writable on the back. And I thought I I just need a little tag down here. Kind of got a big splotch red. So I thought maybe we'd cover that up with this and then stamp a number on it. Now I have these. And I have these, and I haven't decided which, whether I want the really big ones or if I want the smaller ones. We'll see. Uh, but I really like the way this kind of frames up the flower and the butterfly. And I don't think I want to do any additional stamping on it other than the number and my little ticket here. Um, although I have this left over from the last time. That's too much. Do I have a smaller piece here? I could just put I'm just thinking a little bit of book page with my piece and then my number stamped over the top of that maybe. But that let's let's do something with this. I think I want that one. Rhubarb stock. There we go. Okay. So rhubarb stock is uh, almost a magenta, and I think that's this one. Let's put a little bit of red just around the outside ever so slightly. Okay, a bit of a splotch there. I just want a little bit just to kind of take down the white a little bit. Just taking down the white a little bit. Once I put this on the card, you probably won't even notice it, but I think you would have noticed it if it wasn't there. There. Put those aside. All right, I don't even know if my glue book is on camera. Not sure that it matters because it's just a glue book. Nope. I'm going to do this backwards. I'm going to forget that I want to put... And this particular piece of text is taken out of a magazine. Just keep in mind, you could get your text anywhere. I don't remember what magazine this is out of, but it's out of a magazine. Make sure I line that up. There we go. Okay, now we need our number. Now do I want the number in the same dark color? Or do I, I was thinking my number in black, but I almost think I want to stick with the rhubarb. Well, if I'm sticking with the rhubarb, i got to go with the smaller numbers, because the bigger numbers will be way off of today is the 10th, and I need two numbers. I want the big number, big number 1 and 10, because no, then that becomes the focus. And I really like this guy as the focus. So, of course, I want the zero, which doesn't want to come out. There's my zero. And, of course, the one is all the way like They're all going to come out because I want the one. So I'll just put all of those up there and deal with them later. So I have one and zero. There we go. But I want ten. 
And I can post them together, but I think I'm going to do them separately because I want to make sure I get a good impression. And I'm offsetting it a little bit. Okay, I may have offset it too much. And I'm, I'm going to definitely offset this one. So my 10 is a little off. And that's okay. Let's cover that up. If I don't like it, I can always take, put another label over the top of it. Let me grab, see if I do have another label, because I'm not sure that I do like that. These labels all came from uh, the Junk Journal Studio. Here, here we go. I do have another plain label. Let's... Do the same thing we did before. We're going to go right over the top of that one because I don't like it. No mistakes in crafting, only opportunities. And I don't know that that will peel off, will it? Eh, see, made a little bit of a mess. So, where's my glue stick again? I do like the color. I, I'm going to stick with rhubarb stock from Memento. I do like that piece, but I just need to do a better job of stamping the one and the zero. Okay, here's my one. Much better. I don't care that it gave the edge a little bit, that's fine. There we go. Much, much better. And there is day 10. All done. Not using that 10. We'll put that one away. So when we get to day 11, we will take a bit of time. And because we will go through and look at all of them uh, up to that point. That's in the meantime. This is Cindy signing off.